hope you're having a nice day. So today I thought I'd talk you through the design of our newest PDF release, which is the P the PDF dress, mm -mm, the Marguerite dress, um, which I'm wearing. Um, and this has been possibly one of my favourites of the year. So I, I kind of, I think you can probably tell when it's a favourite because I squeeze in an extra video about it. Um, sorry, Jasmine's in the background. Um, so yeah, let me show you it first so you can see all the details and then I'll talk you through why I designed it and what inspired me. So this is the neckline and I think the neckline is really pretty. Necklines are quite, um, not a difficult thing but I think they're very important because if you get it just a centimetre too high or a centimetre too low, it can change the balance completely of a dress and also the shape. You'll notice this is sort of round but it is slightly slightly soft square as well. I didn't want it to be too round. I actually wanted it to be quite wide but when it, we first had it quite wide and we had the neckline higher I felt like it was too high so initially it was a little bit more like a slash neck but that didn't really work. That balance wasn't right and I do think about busts as well so I'm trying to think what would work with a, higher, a fuller bust than mine um, and I know that having a very high neck is quite hard so this I feel like is flattering um, for different busts and if you see it on Emma, which I'll show you in a bit, um, then you can see she's got a fuller bust than me and it looks gorgeous on her. Um, so then there are little cap sleeves with turn ups, so they're sort of grown on sleeves, nice and simple, so no sleeve insertion needed there. This is the separate piece that you stitch on and we've got the waistband and um, then the gathers also going into that, so the mirror in each other. Um, and I always think with um, gathered skirts, it's important to not gather too much at the hip because that can make your hip too uh, accentuated. So if you see the gathers are concentrated here and not so much there. Then at the back, it's so pretty, it's got, has it come undone? No, it hasn't. Um, so it's got this little keyhole opening. The zip goes all the way sort of to just above your bra strap. And then there's um, a little opening there which allows for, you can see it's opening there. It's more pretty feature one than anything else. And the length, just to show you that. So it's just below the knee, but there is also a version you can cut um, above the knee if you want it shorter. And I do, we do get this question a lot about how tall I am. I'm just over 5'6", so that gives you a kind of point of reference for the length of things. Um, this is a size 10. I'd say it's slightly loose on me, which is very comfortable. Um, I think if I was really wanting to kind of give myself a bit more of a nip silhouette, I could lose some on the waistband, but it probably wouldn't make it as comfortable um, to wear. But I think I could bring that in through the back, actually, um, and make it a little bit better fit. But we wanted to make just a standard 10. Um, and then um, sometimes we alter things for me and sometimes we don't. And um, yeah. I mean, I'm perfectly happy wearing this, but I think maybe if I made another one, I'd make it slightly smaller. So what inspired me? Well, I get asked this a lot. What inspires you when you're designing the patterns? And all sorts of things inspire me. The other day, I was in the car with Rosie and we were driving to Clapham and um, a woman walked past in this beautiful maxi skirt. And I was like, oh my goodness, I love that maxi skirt. Uh, we must do a maxi skirt. You know, sometimes it's that, sometimes it's on the tube, sometimes it's in a TV programme, or sometimes it's in a film. And this was based on the character Marguerite in the film A Hundred Foot Journey. It's a film, nice family film, it's about two restaurants opposite each other, it's with Helen Mirren, and Marguerite is a sous chef in her restaurant. So she's a French actress, I actually don't know her name. Um, and she wears dresses like this. Now obviously when the costume designer was working out what she'd wear, they must have designed a dress similar to this, and then decided that it really suited her, so they did couple, I think there's two or three which were similar to this in the film with slightly different features. And this dress hasn't got pockets in it but there is a pocket um, um, for this so you can pop a pocket in if you want to. Um, so she, see so I just, when I was watching it, I've seen it before, I think I saw it on a plane so probably I didn't notice it so much but I watched it again with a friend and I was like oh my goodness I love that dress, it's beautiful, it's, it's quite 50s. Um, 50s, 60s, and um, but it's a nice day dress and you probably could glam it up but you could also just keep it as a nice simple summer day dress. Um, so at that point you know I was like there with my phone snapping photos of her um, on screen. 
and um, yeah we kind of went from there so then um, after that I then spoke to the pattern cutter um, I think this was a mixture of Kate and Julie on this one um, so Kate did most of it and Julie um, just tweaked the skirt because we had a skirt that Julie had just done I think it was the kitty skirt that we had so when we're making a pattern obviously to save time and to make sure we get things in the way that we like them we do use pattern pieces from other patterns as a starting point so we got this um, net neckline right um, and the um, grown on sleeve um, and the gathers and things and the width of the waistband we might have tweaked that a little bit so again those are the sort of things that I do um, when we make a toilet that's what I'm looking at is that waistband slightly too wide or could it come down a little bit sometimes it's only half a centimeter and it makes a difference which sounds crazy but I do do a lot of this sort of kind of squinting and trying to sort of we often would play with one side and so we've got the other side to compare with it um so yeah there was quite a lot of kind of tweaks and changes to the neckline waistband um that sort of thing and then the skirt and the skirt um is just a nice simple gathered skirt but it definitely lends itself to putting on different skirts on this you could put a nice pencil skirt on it i think or rather maybe a tulip tulip rather than pencil I think would be better um, but yeah lots of options so I definitely want to hack it um, and see what I can do with it but already um, she's proven to be one of our most popular releases which is great because that's what I was hoping for but you know sometimes you're wrong sometimes the pattern does better or worse than you think it's gonna do but Margarita so far lived up to the expectations um, and yeah I'm really pleased. I, I, th I hope Marguerite the character would wear it. I think she would. Um, so if you've got, um, if you want to watch that film, it's a really nice film. It's not going to change your life, but it's just a nice Sunday watching film. Um, then yeah, check it out and you'll see um, hopefully the style references to this pattern. Um, and now I'm going to show you some different options of her just so you can get an idea of what she looks like in different fabrics. So this is a Swiss dot um, fabric um, which I made my Leah top out of in the um, last makes video and we've got it in other colours. So um, I bought it in I think for this, I can't remember what I bought it in for um, and then thought oh that'd be nice for Leah and then oh it'd be nice for that so hence why we've got more colours in it. So you, you can make it in this, which is a really nice lightweight cotton. You can make it in a cotton lawn. It looks great in my fabrics, and I was hoping to make up one in all the roses, which I haven't managed to. You can see the gathers are quite different in this one. I think this, the, the weight and the drape of the fabric, so the gathers just um, aren't as noticeable. It's kind of more of a sleeker shape. Um, and that's what I love about uh, fabrics, how they can change something. And then here it is in this other cotton, and in this, this is a slightly heavier cotton than the one that I'm wearing, so you can see the shape is a little bit more poofy, um, so the skirt is a little, um, sticks out a little bit more, the gathers are a little bit more noticeable, and again, it just changes the look again. So lots of options there. Crepes, I think probably um, rayons might be too limp unless it's a quite a good weight rayon, um, just because um, they might not have the structure for the waistband and things. Um, um, but cottons and lightweight cottons, that sort of thing, you don't want to do anything too heavy. So definitely a lightweight cotton is best. And already, if you look at the hashtag SOI Marguerite dress um, on Instagram, already some of your mates are coming up because those of you in the PDF club will have got this pattern a week ago if you wanted it. And um, so some of you have already made up them and it's uh, they're looking gorgeous. So have a look at the hashtag to check out some. Um, and you can obviously follow hashtag so you can then see them as they pop up on your feet. So, just a short video for today. Today is our uh, summer party, which is very exciting. So it'll be at our Islington shop. We've got all sorts of things happening. We've got a raffle, we've got someone doing vintage hair or makeup, we've got someone doing nails. Um, we're gonna have some nice drinks, a bit of bubbly, and just, yeah catch up with our lovely customers. So looking forward to that. I did a classic, terrible date confusion thing. So basically, <laughs> I ha we have this big wedding that we're going to this weekend. I thought it was next weekend. It's in Wales, um, one of Matt's oldest friends, and it was in the diary for ages. And I put it in at the wrong weekend. And so um, I actually we actually moved our summer party from next weekend to this weekend because of that wedding. Anyway, about two three weeks ago, I realised the wedding was not next week. It's this week. 
we couldn't cancel the party and I want to make sure I'm there. So Jasmine and Matt are going with his friends today, traveling all the way to Wales, and I'm going to have to leave the party around eight so that I can drive to Bristol to break my journey at my sister's and then get up early and drive on to Wales tomorrow morning in time for the wedding. And Matt's an usher, so I've got to get there as soon as I can so that I can relieve him of Jasmine, who's now sounding not very happy. So, oops, massive fail on the diary front. But anyway, that's what I'll be doing this weekend. And I'm gonna be wearing my rosy um, Colotte hack, um, which I'm very excited about because I've not yet worn it. I've wanted to save it for this event. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you all have lovely weeks. Next week, I'm gonna do a Q and A video, which I haven't done in ages. So stay tuned on Instagram because we'll be asking you guys to send over some questions. I'll see you next week, bye.